the last time you used or even saw a payphone? They're hard to find now. They are. Well, a Philly guy's trying to uh, bring back a little nostalgia and bring back those clunky phones, but without the pay part. Huh. NBC10's Matt Delucia answered the call to, to check it out. Sounds different, but there's no mistaking this iconic calling contraption. I probably used one back in my, my teen years. Digging for change, timed calls, waiting for that annoying person in front of you to hang up. Yeah, it's all coming back, isn't it? Now, whenever I see one on the street, I have to go up and see if it's working, go check it out. And yeah, they just, they intrigue me. So much that Mike Dank decided it was time for a comeback. It's been fun putting it together. A tech project with a passion. I'm trying to put them in places that will benefit the community. Mm -hmm. So there is a population out there who don't have access to cell phones or they have cell phones and they can't keep up with the bills. This phone he bought at a flea market 10 years ago, took out the guts. The original phone had a really big circuit board back here and brought this hunk of metal into the 21st century. It treats the phone just like any normal phone. If you look hard enough, you can still find pay phones, but finding a working one, that's even harder. There are only a few dozen left in the city. The first of Mike's new Philtel phones, he calls them, will start making calls this weekend at Iffy Books on North 11th Street in Chinatown. There are some hang-ups, though. It's all out of pocket for him, anywhere from 300 to 1,000 bucks per phone, plus costs per minute. So he's calling on the kindness of strangers. Hopefully with donations and funds and everything, that'll be covered. But even if it's not, it's pretty low out-of-pocket cost. His dream? To see one of these in every neighborhood. I think one of the more interesting things is going to be um, seeing how kids react to it or seeing how parents show their kids how to use it and, uh, yeah, seeing what they think of this sort of archaic process that was once everywhere and now a lot of people haven't grown up with it or know how it works. And no need to spare a dime for this trip back in time. In Chinatown, Matt Delusia, NBC 10 News. Matt does it again. Great story. And you know we're going to be those people, Aaron. You know, when I was so, so Oh, too. yeah. <laughs> the worst, waiting for the person in front of you. Like, can you hurry up, please? I got a call to make. They what actually did a this? study and found that if somebody was on the phone and they knew someone that they didn't know was waiting, right. they would linger longer. No. Um, they did that. Yes, don't I, be don't, that guy. I don't know why. Don't but, be that guy. Yeah, maybe it was a different city. They did that. Not a good neighbor right there. <laughs>